Our next candidate is here. Say your name and the position you are running for. Hello, my name is Ken Johnston. I'm running for City Council and with the Richmond Community Coalition. Uh, Ken, let's start with a question we've been asking everybody that has come in so far, and that is, do you live in Richmond, and if so, how long have you been here? I uh, moved to Richmond. Yes, I live here, and I moved here in uh, 1976. Okay, we've got a, a long look at this, this town of Richmond. Can you talk uh, a bit about uh, uh, the rapid growth of the city? You, as I said, you've had a 40-year look at this city. Is it, is it growing too quickly? Uh, is there a, should they slow down? How do you feel? I feel that our official community plan uh, calls for uh, the growth in the city centre, as mm -hmm. it does in most other metro municipalities. And uh, I, I, don't, I think it's paced fairly evenly. One thing I would like to see, though, is uh, our infrastructure built before uh, a lot of this development as opposed to after. after. Okay. Uh, can you tell uh, our viewers about the qualifications you have, why you feel you're qualified for this position? Well, I'm, I've been a councillor for... Uh, 18 years. I, I feel I've contributed uh, to the city. Uh, I ran a business uh, uh, in uh, Richmond here with 125 employees. Mm -hmm. uh, that was my, my real job, if you will. <laughs> and uh, it, and I, I was, uh, the business was a leader in sustainability, so I was very proud of that. We won many uh, national awards and uh, local awards in terms of being a green company. But I think I have a, a broad understanding and spectrum of, of what's required to be a city councillor and I believe that uh, I have more to offer. And you also have 40 years of uh, looking at the city, as I mentioned earlier. Yeah. Could you talk about what you feel is the most important thing that Richmond is most in need of as we uh, sit here today? Yeah, certainly. I, I believe that uh, we're most in need of having uh, a policy. Our, our price, land prices are unaffordable in most young families. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so what we need is a stronger rental policy to focus on potentially incenting, incentivizing uh, dry, uh, builders to actually build rental housing. Mm -hmm. Because to keep employees here, uh, to keep young families here, and to keep our schools uh, with more capacity, we need more and more of rental. So I'm very focused on the rental housing part. And of course, as you know, with this job, it's not a nine to five job and yeah. with life being busy. Um, can you talk a bit about how your schedule would fit with this position? Are you able to attend night meetings? Uh, well, certainly not in the daytime and at a certain time every morning or something. Uh, I can meet pretty well. I have flexibility to meet all pretty well all the time. I'm as a city councillor, sitting city councillor, I'm on about nine committees, uh, as community centre committees, uh, uh, art committees, uh, museum committees, and then the standing committees of council. Mm -hmm. So uh, I have, uh, I've been uh, in good attendance, let's put it that say, way. Know your way around the post 5 p.m. meetings. Yeah. Uh, Ken, thank you for uh, dropping in to talk with us today and giving your positions on, on these matters, and we wish you luck uh, with the upcoming race. Thank you very much. You I bet. do appreciate your time. Thank you.